hope has been kidnapped. I slept in church on the floor that night. I couldn't close my eyes. I was just praying, say, God, I'm not a failure on my level, but I have little children. I don't only pastor, I give welfare. I give welfare to people. I pay school fees. I do this. Say, Lord, how much can one carry because of corruption? I slept on the floor and I was praying and said, God, give Nigeria one chance to test good leadership. I stayed in the poly unit from morning. Under the sun, I was beaten. I paid for canopy. Did everything stayed. I said, upload my result. The young boy looked at me and said, Sir, I have tried. It's not going. I said, upload my result. He said, Sir, I have great value for you. If you say this thing more, I may not have life. But I swear with everything that I have, I will upload this result. I checked my result while coming to church. It's not even online. But I'm going to take my stand. I might not go to the streets to protest. But every day I go to God, I will remind him. That to subvert, to subvert a man on his cause, you do not approve it. Stand against the wiles of the devil. Even the devil will accuse them. Mark my word. Satan will be the accuser. Read this one. Let me close for the next service. Next verse, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. What these people were fighting, they are not physical men. There is a spirit behind them. There is a spirit behind injustice. There is a spirit behind corruption. There is a spirit behind bad government. There is a spirit behind rigging. There is a spirit behind a man who looks at today and feed on today and done the consequences of the future. That is the spirit of Ahab. Ahab will receive God's blessing, but his children will suffer. He said, I don't care. Let them suffer, but me, let me go in peace. That's why I say, be careful when a father you don't trust say you'll be better than me. Be careful. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against the principality, this spirit that operates men, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness. Where did they say it? Where is wickedness? In the high places. In precedency. This one is not even the spiritual wickedness. We are not talking. It's a clone. Nigeria is a clone. There is a caricature. Nigeria is the caricature. There is a real spiritual Nigeria. Those where these high places rule. All these men you see, they are just principalities and powers. They've not even reached the class of rulers of darkness. Because rulers of darkness, they don't contest election, but they determine elections. So when you are engaging war, you are engaging war with the rulers of darkness, number one. That's why they would declare election in the night while men sleep. They are smart. So that before you wake up by eight, three hours would have passed. The gestation of truth and weakness and power. So while you are waking up, before you tell this, before you tell this, before you tell this, before you tell this, they've given their congratulatory speech. And in that congratulatory speech, they will call themselves governor because they are not president. say this word. When you are ready to stand, you are also ready to die. If you are not ready to die, don't take a stand. Cowards don't take a stand. If you call me 500 years from today and I'm still alive, I will still be telling you the same thing. After the election, so we were sending me tests and were calling me and saying, Pastor, are you okay? I said, I'm very okay. So are you sure? I say, yes, I'm sure. I'm okay. I'm good. 
You know why I'm good? Because I know who I believe. Sometimes victory doesn't come the way we plan. Sometimes for you to win, you start dying. And when righteousness dies, it doesn't really die. He goes back and gives birth to the fruits of righteousness. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, just let me just do the next verse. Again, spiritual wickedness. Now look at verse 13. Read with a loud voice with me. 13. Wherefore do what? That ye may be able to what? So we stand in the evil day. And having done all, to do what? So the major word they say we wrestle not. So we don't wrestle. We wrestle not. So what we do, we take stand. Are you following me? Now look at verse 14. Read it with a loud voice. Stand what? Stand what? Stand therefore. When you need to stand, look at things you need to stand with. Number one, your laws must be gate with truth. To verifiable truth. That's why Obi needs to come when he came to justice. Justice cannot be denied him because he came with truth. Number two, your feet shod with peace. Every time peace, do not riot. Do not fight. Don't go to the street. Justice, you must come with peace. No, did I say peace? No. Having the breastplate of righteousness, you must come. After truth, you must come with righteousness. You must have a clean hand. You must have a past record. Righteousness is doing things the right way. So if you must get God's justice system, beyond truth, you must come for the righteous stand. Number three, truth, peace, I mean. You must come fit, short with peace. You must have peace. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, peace. Number three, you must take the shield of faith. He said, don't worry. We'll recover our mandate back. So we are not fighting men. We are challenging the system. Says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Our problem is not a sewage. Our problem is not APC. Our problem is the system. Once that system falls, righteousness will rule. Somebody say, Amen. amen. Number, number four, you take the shield of faith. You must have faith. I said, Number five, the helmet of salvation. Let me tell you about your head must be well. When Obi wept, something happened. He said, I have never been a man of emotion and I believe him. You know why I believe him? Because his type is not given to emotion. He didn't break down because he lost the election. He break down because the hope of... He's not a poor man. He's not a poor man. Some of us, who, if you have tested some little bit of affluence, you will know that one of the things that money gives you, it gives you the spirit of I don't care. Once you've built your good houses, you are living in a cush house. They say, remember the Lord. Because at that point, you might forget who bless you. So, be coming out of the cycle of wealth and say, who can I help? That's why Dangote cannot contest election. Because his wealth is his security. When you want to be in power, in politics, you are ready to let go your present comfort. Is anybody following me? So your head must be right. Salvation. You must be touched by the feeling of the infirmities of the people. Then the sixth thing you must carry, you must carry the word of the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Obi said something. He said, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Let me tell you something. This thing is not about church. If a super Joe was contesting, I would have supported him. Because I test men by their words and their actions. I'm not a tribalist. I've never been and I will never be. I lived in the north. My first 14 years of my life, I was in Kano, Sabongeri. I left Sabongeri to Delta State. I was in Delta State for another four years or five years. I left Delta State after my secondary school days. I came to the east. I was in the east for another six years. While, when I was done with the East, I went back to Delta State. When I went back to North for one year again in Zamfara. From Zamfara, I came back. Then I went to Lagos for training for one year and six months. So, then I came back. I was deployed again to the East. So, I'm a good Nigerian. 
If you speak Hausa, I will hear. You speak Hebrew, I will hear. You speak Yoruba, I will hear. You speak Isuka, I will hear. You speak in tongues, I will hear. Are you following me? So we are not talking tribe. We are not talking evil religion. We are talking competence, characters, and what? Hmm? There are forces. If you don't follow, if you don't get the remaining two, character, competent, hmm? capacity, and the other force is what? Let's leave that one for the Holy Ghost. Rise up on your feet and let's give God praise. Courage. Let's rise up on your feet. Take on your stand. Take your stand. Take your stand. Lift up your hand and just bless the Lord. Somebody pray, say, Lord, give me the character for my next level. Give me the competence for my next level. Give me the capacity. The capacity to stand and the courage to do the right thing. Lord, I need the spirit of integrity. Somebody, you are repenting from your old way. You, have, you are too yoked with the wall. You are integral. You are one with the wall. But today, you are breaking yourself. You say, Lord, I want to be a transformer. I want to be a light of the wall. I want to be salt of the earth. I want to be a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. I want to let my light so shine before men that they will see my good works and glorify my Father. Somebody you are praying, you are insisting, Lord, in the name of Jesus, give Nigeria a deliverance. When the days of, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of servitude, the days of uh, bondage was over, the children of Israel, God brought them with a mighty hand. He says, Lord, bring Nigeria out with a mighty hand. Bring Nigeria out with a mighty hand in the name of Jesus. Somebody hold the hand of your neighbor left and the right and just pray for them. Say, neighbor, we will take a stand. We are taking a stand against the forces of darkness. We're taking the stand against the forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. Empra Katov Rendisco Vala Kato Zekretia Sozava. Enter Brandisco Fraha. And we're also generous to pray. We are praying for Einek. We are insisting that this one will do the counsel of the Lord. We are praying for political parties. We are praying for PDP. We are praying for APC. We are praying for ACE. All the political parties, Labour Party, will pray that these ones will do the right thing. That righteousness will be, be the core of, 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 of whatever they represent. That righteousness will be the core. Pray in the name of Jesus that Nigeria will not function by corruption again. That the power of hell that the devil demonic forces principalities and powers that stands to corrupt this nation that there are holes over this nation is broken in the name of jesus now begin to pray say lord i guide my lungs with truth i come in truth in the name of jesus labor i put on the breastplate of righteousness Somebody you are praying, you are insisting in the name of Jesus. You shod your feet with peace. You put on the helmet of salvation. You are strong in the word of God. You take on the shield of faith. That you might quench the fairest doubt of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody still hold your hand. I want to pray for you. Yeah, you're the word of the Lord, O oh Nigeria. You are healed from your infirmities. You are healed from your disease. The disease of corruption. The infirmity of bad government. You are free from it in the name of Jesus. For he who the Son set free is free indeed. Nigeria, your cry have come to the ears of your Father. And he will avenge you speedily. Scripture says, because wickedness is not avenged speedily, men have set their hearts to do wickedness. Today we pray the God who rain hailstones and thunders, who judge in the affairs of men, 
who say the battle is mine, says the Lord. Today, Lord, we stand our ground. We hold our peace that you will fight this battle. Amen. Father, Lord, thank you for your grace. Thank you for the peace we experience in our Nigeria. Lord, put strength in the men and the women of this house that they will be dedicated to their business. They will be dedicated to their work. They will take their stand in righteousness. They will not do things because it will, because it will give them quick money, but they will do things rightly. And you will increase their greatness. The Bible said over this year, it said the Lord will greatly increase our greatness. And it will give us comfort on every side. I pray may this prophetic word rest upon their business. Father, Lord, some of them, they've been heartbroken because of the election. You are the healer. Heal the hearts of men. Everyone who is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, they can't sleep. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you will give them sleep. Give them rest of heart. May they receive the comfort of the Spirit. Father, I pray for somebody that their breakthrough will be speedily. Father, somebody say, no, this nation, I'm tired of it. I want to leave. Father, may no body make a hasty decision. Father, bring your counsel over Nigeria speedily. I bless you with the blessing of a father, the blessing of heaven. Receive multiplication. Receive advancement. Let men support you. Where men, money is tied down, let it be loose to your head. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. If you're sick, lay your hand on your body, any part, you're here right now. I'm praying for those who have not given their life to Christ. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Today, I confess you as Lord. Today, I said I'm a new creature. All things are passed away. and All things are new for me. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you were buried. And three days later, you rose for my justification. Therefore, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It is done in Jesus' name.